and welcome to Queen's Crafts by Bridget. I'm Bridget. Thank you for joining me today. Whether you're new here or you've been around since my very beginning, I truly appreciate you coming by and spending some time with me. Now, if you're looking for me anywhere else on the internet, you can find me on Instagram, same name. You can find me on my Facebook group page, which is linked down in the description box below, or you can get a hold of me directly at my email, which is the channel name at yahoo.com. Now, for last video, we have three names for the cauldron. We have Bears Crochet Critters, Yolanda Perkins, and Jen Reeves. Congratulations, ladies, and you will be going into the cauldron as soon as I turn this video off. If you do not know what the cauldron is, every single video, I pick three names from the comments randomly. They go in the cauldron at the beginning of the month. I pull a name from that cauldron and they get a box of yarn. Now today I did bring in that box of yarn that we are playing to win for this month and hopefully whoever gets it or whoever does get their name pulled will enjoy the yarn. I thought that I would go through that with you real quick and then show you what else is going on in the channel right now. So we're gonna kind of go through this lickety split y'all. We have some alpaca light from Northland. This is a light number three, 100% wool yarn. Now, if somebody wins that is allergic to wool, I do have a different box I can swap it out for. It's no big deal. Now, it's, like I said, it's number three light. It's 1.7 ounce ball, 50 grams, 153 yards or 140 meters. Hand wash life flat, made in China. Oh, excuse me. Itchy fibers in the air. Now this one here is a number two. It's 100% acrylic. It's a two ounce ball, 56 grams, 174 yards. It's machine wash, lay dry to fly, lay dry to lay flat to dry. Oh my goodness, I cannot speak. It is made in China and is sold through Hershners.com. This is Hershners two pot ply baby yarn. Very pretty. And uh, color name is Dress Up. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you the color name on this one. I don't know if it has one. No, sorry guys, no color name on that one. And then we have this Hershner's Two Ply Baby Yarn again. So its stats will be the same. And this one's name is Castle. Very pretty. I thought those would go nicely together. Now we have this Afghan two ply from Hershner's. It's 100% acrylic. It's a two ounce ball, 56 grams, 220 yards. It's a number fine two. And the color name on this one is Sage. Now we have this one here, this Northern Alpaca Light. Again, 100% wool, 1.7 five ounces 50 grams hand wash dry flat made in china distributed by hershners and it's a number three yarn as well now we have some of this lion brand just my stripes this is a number four weight yarn color name is bubble gum it's three ounces or 85 grams 177 yards uh 100 acrylic machine washable and dryable And then we have a Red Heart or more, which the end is sticking down there. And this is Rouge, Bob. Bison Rouge, I guess, number four weight. Uh, let's see. You can machine wash, you can dry. It's 100% polyester, 198 yards, 3.5 ounces or 100 grams. And then we have this fun Terry spun yarn. This is 3.5 ounces. It says one ball will make a scarf. This is a number five yarn. 100 grams, 350 yards. It is machine washable, but lay dry to 
lie dry lie flat to dry oh my and you can um dry clean it on p but do not iron and do not tumble dry and then we have two colors of the faux fur here so i'm not going to go through the stats on both of them i'll go through it on the first one here this one is eggplant it's a number seven jumbo yarn it's machine washable uh, let's see gentle cycle dry flat 100% polyester 100 let's see 100% polyester, faux fur, 11 yards, 100 grams, 10 meters. So we have eggplant color and we have the polar color. Those make for really fun ways to edge a scarf. And that's what we've got for the cauldron winner this month. Hopefully you guys will like that. Now, I have done a little bit of spinning since the last time. Well, I've, I've actually done a lot of spinning since the last time you guys seen me. But some of it you can't see until next month. I have a secret project. Well, actually, two secret projects going on that you will be able to see next month. And hopefully, you will enjoy following that along as well. But the blue fiber that I dyed to sell to buy, get the yarn for the wedding dress, um, I decided to spin it up since nobody uh, uh, laid claims to it or said that they wanted it. So I thought, well, I'll do, I'll spin it up and if someone likes it, they like it. If they don't, eventually I will do something with it. And either way, that makes me happy. Now this is the yarn that I got out of it. I did a simple two-ply yarn. I thought it ended up being very pretty. Let's see. Where did I put the mini? I had a little mini for it too. Hopefully I'll find it before the end of this video. I don't know. <laughs> There it is. And here is the little mini that we had left. So we got fairly close to a dead even spin, which makes me very happy. And we still have, I just wanted to show them in case someone missed that video or that post. We still have this beautiful red orange tones and we still have this beautiful crimson tones. Um, available either in the braid or as a yarn and we still have the pink tones and the purple and blue self-striping I'm getting very very close also to 1500 subscribers so if you haven't commented on that video please do go and check back on the announcement for the cauldron winner this month and also the announcement of the 1500 subscriber to be drawn once I hit that magic number so if you by some chance haven't hit that subscribe uh, button yet please do and follow along make sure you comment on that video so that when that magic number rings we can draw a name and get that fabulous prize out to that lucky winner now the wedding dress has arrived some assembly required yes I have a very corny sense of humor but I just wanted to show you guys it is here thank you thank you thank you to everybody that bought some yarn and to the person that bought my spinning wheel from me my e-wheel from me and made this purchase possible thank you thank you thank you thank you very much from the bottom of our hearts you guys have truly helped make what was going to be a very devastating situation into something that I'm truly got something special to look forward to. 
um, such as making a beautiful dress for my very special day. And I'm going to hopefully get started on that either tomorrow or Monday. Uh, the dye is due in tomorrow, as is the brassiere that I bought specifically for uh, designing in directly into this dress as I have in my mind. Hopefully it's going to work as well, you know, in reality as it does in my head. But we will find out and I'm going to take you guys as a take you guys along on the journey the best that I can. Now I don't post all the time and sometimes when I say this is what I'm doing I end up not doing that because well I'm so oppositionally defiant I will defy myself to the very last. But I'm going to try my best to take you guys along and have you um, help me make key decisions on where to go and whatnot whenever I do get stuck. Hopefully I won't get stuck often in this design and have it ready for the big day in April. All right, everybody, I'm going to hop on out of here. I truly hope that you are crafting your happiness. Until next time, bye for now.